I forgot to mention that these seals can be reused. Just put a little bit of oil on them uh, and that should be okay. Okay, and the key is to line up this dimple here and not force the distributor in. Just wiggle and it'll find its it'll find its home. And then obviously keep the housing aligned as well. Okay, just wiggle the distributor until it finds its seat. I'm going to orientate myself again. It's going go down a bit. A little bit more. Yeah, see, the distributor is already locked, so I'm in the hole. And then just continue wiggling. And then align your alignment marks. Got the two five millimeters. Always start a bolt by hand and try to turn it in as far as it'll go. That'll tell you whether or not it's cross threading or not. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm working outside. And the point is, you'll see better on your car, but the main point is you're getting a general idea of what's going on, and that's what counts, basically. People always complain, oh, I don't see anything. Yeah, but if you, if you watch and you listen, if I happen to say, explain stuff, uh, you get the idea, you understand what I'm doing. So again, these marks don't have to be 100% accurate. It's going to be good enough. You may not even have to adjust timing afterwards. The computer adjusts timing anyways. It's got knock sensors. It keeps an eye on on things. It's only an issue if you're way way too far out. I'm going to not try not to strip this either here sometimes they strip out and just like any bolt just tight not too tight just tight enough these dust caps especially on a distributor that's sitting at the edge or on the side of the head it just makes things difficult sometimes because it keeps wanting to pop off I think that hall sensor might not be sitting all the way down oh it is
Come on, sit tight. Trying to clip the rear clip back into place. It's a coil of wire. All sensor plug. Okay, should start this time. Okay, it's running. That weird intake noise is normal on these things. It'll get, it'll go away as the engine warms up. So uh, that's pretty much it. If you need to adjust timing, uh, I'll link a link in the description, and uh, you can check timing with a test uh, with a uh, timing gun. But as of as far as this thing goes, it it's uh, it was a bad cam sensor or hall sensor. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to put this cover back on. It's a little splash guard. When the engine overheats, there's a vent right here. The the gas to the the coolant cap vents. There's a valve in here, and then it lets excessive pressure out and that coolant will then drip right onto the uh, distributor. So the Volkswagen decided to put a little cover here, which does help to a degree. But anyways, don't forget to put that back on. It's good to have it in place. Ninety-four Eurovan last month was here for um, ignition coil that failed. So uh, I don't know if you saw my video, but I replaced the ignition coil. I recommended spark plug wires and spark plugs at the same time, including distributor cap. Uh, well, one month later, came back, no start. Turned out to be a um, faulty cam sensor inside the distributor. Customer wasn't very happy, but uh, again, what can I do at that point in time when it was here last time? It was a distinctive uh, ignition coil failure, or uh, it was an obvious ignition coil failure. So why would I go after a hall sensor if the hall sensor is good at that point in time? So anyways, I uh, just thought I'd let you know, sometimes, sometimes cars do come back, but uh, luckily it wasn't due to something that I did personally.